Well, who doesn't love getting outside and going for a bike ride? Only for some people, growing older has limited their mobility, which can mean riding a bike is no longer a safe option. That's why Cycling Without Age was developed back in 2012 in Denmark. The program recently began in Rapid City, so we decided to check it out. You're about to see firsthand how the program is helping seniors get back on a bike and stay connected with the community. Thanks so much, Ginger, for being here today with me. It's my pleasure, Brittany. Now tell me, what exactly is Cycling Without Age? Cycling Without Age is a nonprofit, volunteer-run program that basically takes elderly people out for bike rides, connecting them back to nature, connecting them back to their community, uh, hearing the stories of the lives they lived in that community. So how did you hear about it and decide to bring it here? Well, so here's the cool thing. In um, November, I got my first e-bike. That's an electric bike, and actually this cool little bike is an e-bike as well. I got my e-bike and started riding our bike path here in Rapid City, and I didn't realize it was so beautiful. I've lived here for 31 years and had no idea. Then I saw a short little video about cycling without age, and I thought, why can't we do that for, uh, as Kathleen, my rider, says, the more mature people in South Dakota. We started working on it. We received an anonymous donation for this bike and uh, had it shipped in from Copenhagen. A cool story in Copenhagen, it started there, a man named Ole Kassau started it by pedaling by a nursing home and noticed a gentleman day after day sitting out front. And finally one day he went and just rented a rickshaw and went to the nursing home and said, hello, I'm a neighbor, uh, would anyone like to ride, take a ride? So one of the staff members rushed and got a woman named Gertrude. They went out for an hour and he said he had just the most amazing adventure and journey with her. The next day he got a phone call from the manager and she said, what did you do to Gertrude? And now everybody wants a ride. And that's kind of how it works with cycling without age. Explain to me this trishaw and how this bike works and how it's safe. It's the sweetest bike. It's three wheeled. This one actually is a trio bike. It's very safe. It's very stable. One of the other guiding principles of cycling without age is slowness. We don't really go faster than a walking pace, five miles an hour so that we can uh, make contact with mothers pushing strollers, people walking dogs. So that adds to the safety. We're not running around 50 miles an hour. But it's also the most important thing is an e-bike, and that means it has the battery. So anyone can do it. Any volunteer, we call them pilots, can pilot this e-bike. It has seat belts for our riders. It has uh, an easy way to load people, that the, the actual um, footrest comes out. People can be transferred in with um, lifts so if mobility is an issue and that's one of the things we're trying to address is people who have lost their mobility and are no longer getting out one of our mottos is wind in your hair and sun in your face that we're able to um, take anyone for a ride and you mentioned that it's volunteers who are the pilots for the tri shots so are you hoping for the future that you get more bikes and volunteers or how can people get involved in this you know right now we have more volunteers than we have tri -shaws. So we're hoping to raise money for more. But that brings up one of the things I'm so excited about our volunteers. When we first got our tri -shaw, we went to our local bike shop, Acme Bikes, here in town. I'll plug them because they said they will maintain our bike for free. And that evening, the owner of the bike uh, shop put a pictures of our tri -shaw up on his Facebook page. And within a day, we had five new volunteers, and they were all young men which I just love that. It's all about building relationships and hearing stories, uh, connecting. So I just can't wait to get those young men with Kathleen so she can uh, tell, her the, tell them the story she's already told me about living through the flood. And I'm sure she has a lot more stories to tell them. And now really this is such a great way to get area seniors here to connect and get out in the community. And why do you think that's so important for Rapid City? You know, it's been shown that our seniors are mature residents when they get out in the sunshine, it really helps them, their, their mental health and their mental outlook. But it doesn't just help them, it helps all of us who are involved, whether we're staff people or pilots, people along the way that we can stop and talk with. Uh, so it's really just, it's all about joy and smiles and, and that's really what a bike can do. Now I'm going to hop in front and talk to Kathleen, one of the riders who's gotten to experience this tri shot today. So Kathleen, this is new to Rapid City. How many rides have you had in this? This is my second. Your second. So what do you think? I think it's wonderful. So how do you feel about 
going out into the community and getting to do things like this with other, as you like to say, mature people in Rapid City. Well, I feel great about it. And are there other things that maybe other than mature adults are, you know, when you're living in places, you don't always get to get out and connect with other people. Why do you think it's so important to get out and connect? Well, it's nice to do that, but it's also very nice to go out in nature because this is a be I had a beautiful ride. What's your favorite thing about riding in here? Uh, the speed. <laughs> <laughs> the speed. And, and the fun we've had just visiting in the seeing the young kids and w waving at people as we walk by. But the nature part, our parks are so beautiful. And now I've heard a lot about you, Kathleen, and you're out dancing and taking lessons, and you really like to get out and do fun things. And so this is just another thing to add to your activity list. Do you think other mature adults in Rapid City are going to enjoy this? Well, if they don't, they're missing something. So what advice do you have for others who maybe are not as willing to give this a try? I don't know. I don't know. What, uh, when they have their mindset against doing something, you don't, you don't change them. So, but they're missing out on something if they don't. So is this something that you're going to do with your friends? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you have any person in particular you really want to get out and ride with? Yes, I do. Who is it? Blanche, it is where I live. Okay, one of your friends? Yes. All right, well, is there anything else we should know about this trishaw? It's pretty, it's a pretty smooth ride. It is? <laughs> <laughs> and All it's a, such a fun ride. All right, well, thank you so much for sharing your experience with us today. Yes, thank you for having me. Thank you.